This video is going to show you how to export multiple invoices over to QuickBooks Online. So first you're going to do that by going to the QBO homepage and from here you're going to say export invoice records. This screen here, a different video shows you how to mark an invoice as ready to download, which you have to do in order for it to show up on this screen. Um, once you do that and you're on that um, invoice screen for that particular invoice, you can go ahead and send it over. Um, and that video shows how to send an invoice one at a time. But if you don't want to send them one at a time, then you just mark them ready to be downloaded and then they will show up here on this list. I've obviously only got one. Uh, ready to download at the moment but if there was more than one then you would you could select all the ones you want to send all at once now if some of the mappings for customers and companies and time codes and expense codes have um, done, been undone or for some reason don't exist then you'll see what happens here when we click send you'll be asked to um, walk through this mapping wizard to make sure every single invoice you've checked off on this list is is ready to go. So in this case it's saying the the customer hasn't been mapped to the to the company on this uh, PI invoice. So we're going to go ahead and map that. And now it's saying there's one of these this invoice has a line item on it that has this design um, time code that isn't mapped to a QBO uh, product or service. And it noticed a name by match like the previous screen did, pre-selected it for you, but we need to map that. So we'll map it. And now it's saying it, it's analyzed all the aspects of the invoices that were selected and everything looks good so we can send it over. And then this shows you a confirmation of uh, if you, again, if you had more than more invoices in this list, some of them encountered errors, they'd be highlighted in red, um, but only the, one, the ones you selected, if it went over successfully, will be outlined in green and show you that it uh, went over. Now, if we go look at this invoice, you'll see that it's linked or it's been created in QuickBooks as invoice 1043, and the PI invoice was also assigned to that number.